Medical marijuana continues to be a hot issue here in Florida, and our next guest is going to bring us up to date on a program to educate the community about medical marijuana. Please welcome Michelle Wilson to Legal Connections. Thanks for being with us. Thank you, Clarence. So happy to be here with you today. Michelle, tell us about the Medical Marijuana Education and Research Initiative. Thank you so much for the opportunity to talk about the Florida Agricultural and Mechanical University's Medical Marijuana Education and Research Initiative. I know that's a mouthful, so we break it down and we refer to it as M-M-E-R-I, and it's pronounced Mary, so you may hear me refer, it, refer back to it as Mary. We have a legislative mandate here at FAMU, and our legislative mandate is to educate diverse and multicultural communities about Florida's medical marijuana laws. Uh, we know that these laws can be very convoluted and most people don't necessarily know how to navigate Florida's medical marijuana laws, as well as um, they have difficulty understanding that marijuana is illegal, uh, but medical marijuana is legal in Florida. And so we have three core components that we use to educate Floridians across the state of Florida. Those components are community engagement, communications, and education. And so with those three components, we integrate our uh, core education uh, program, and we provide education across the state of Florida, whether it's on television, whether it's speaking engagements, whether it um, involves interviews or presentations. So we take this education across the state of Florida, and uh, we're so happy to be able to, to be in this space. The legislature felt that FAMU was well-suited to provide this education because we've been educating diverse and multicultural communities since 1887. So we are up for the task, and uh, we believe that we're doing a phenomenal job and that there's still room for improvement, but uh, we, we're very serious about this mission. When medical marijuana became illegal here in Florida, um, the streets started talking. So what are some of the common myths or misinformation about medical marijuana that you want to explain? Great, great, great question, Clarence. Uh, some of those myths are that there are job protections in Florida if you have a medical marijuana card. So you can go through the legal process, have your medical marijuana card, you could be doing everything right, but when it comes to employment, there are no job protections, no ADA protections in the state of Florida. So that's something we really try to um, educate the public about so that they don't get caught in a situation where they're testing uh, for THC and they find out that they no longer have employment and there are no um, avenues of redress. Um, another myth is that uh, you can purchase your medical marijuana uh, from the street once you receive a medical marijuana card. And we know in Florida that the only place you can legally purchase marijuana is through a licensed dispensary uh, in Florida. Uh, another myth is that you can drive or you can smoke in your vehicle. That is a big no-no because that leads to all type of um, all types of illegal activity, which could uh, include probable cause. But you also need to understand that driving impairment, whether it's marijuana or any drug, is illegal. And when you smoke marijuana and you drive a vehicle, the likelihood of being in an accident doubles. So your safety is at risk as well as the safety of other drivers on the street. So uh, those are just a couple of or a few examples of myths that we've heard while we are out in the field educating the population. And thank you for clearing that up. And what do you want students in particular to understand about medical or marijuana laws here in Florida? Well, first of all, we, we want students to recognize that there is a program on the campus. Well, we're located in the foundation building, but we're part of the university. And so they have a resource at their fingertips to call and ask us questions, to get clarification about those laws. What are the do's and don'ts on campus? What can get them in trouble? Um, and then how do you go about treating uh, illnesses and conditions legally, as opposed to self-medicating -medic with uh, illegal marijuana, which we know can be very deadly. We know that it could be laced with all types of uh, deadly 
uh, compounds and, and um, ingredients such as heroin, cocaine, uh, bug spray, urine, uh, and those, um, the lacing is designed to create a high and to, to keep you coming back so you can get that, that higher level high, uh, so to speak. So we want students to uh, make sure that they are responsible in their decisions. Uh, we want them to participate in our program. Uh, each year we have a WE Day where we celebrate not celebrate we, but we celebrate the opportunity to educate because again, we are an education program. We don't necessarily advocate that everyone uh, use marijuana because we are all different and marijuana will affect us all differently. So on we day, we invite students and we invite law enforcement and we invite doctors uh, and we invite all types of community leaders to come to the table and have a conversation and create a safe space for students to learn and talk about marijuana because ultimately we want our students to be in a safe environment to learn and we want them to understand the consequences of illegal marijuana but also know about the benefits of medical marijuana. And also um, there is a process in place. Uh, what medical conditions qualify you for a Florida medical marijuana card? Okay, so Florida statutes uh, will outline some of those conditions, and I'll give you some examples. Uh, cancer, chronic pain, Crohn's disease, glaucoma, HIV AIDS, um, PTSD, and anxiety, um, depression, and insomnia related to some of those conditions. So those are just a few of those qualified conditions. And uh, being under the care of a qualified doctor is the most important thing in terms of uh, the use of medical marijuana. Most people believe that you can see your primary care physician or another specialist in order to get access to medical marijuana, but that's not how the law works. You have to see a qualified doctor in the state of Florida to receive a recommendation for the use of marijuana. What I mean by a qualified physician is that these physicians are special physicians who have undergone specific training in Florida and the state of Florida recognizes them as being able to make these recommendations. So it's very important that we know the difference between your primary care physician and a qualified physician in Florida. And for those who don't know, tell us about unlawful marijuana in use in Florida. Well, unlawful use is any marijuana purchased outside of a dispensary. The dispensary is the place to purchase medical marijuana. You have your card, you're able to get into the dispensary after you've had uh, your consultation with the physician and he gives you a recommendation. Uh, the forms that you can consume your medical marijuana vary. Most people think it's, it's all about smoking a joint or a blunt but that's not necessarily the only means to uh, administer your medication. So there are different forms. There, there are oils and tincture, tinctures that you can put under your tongue. There are creams and capsules. Uh, and of course, edibles is a, prop, is a popular means of consuming uh, marijuana. So when you get into the medical marijuana dispensary, you're in a safe space. The marijuana is regu regulated, highly regulated, Whereas street marijuana, again, you don't know what you're getting. So we caution you, even though if you've been purchasing your marijuana from your friend or someone you trust, you never know when something can be laced with a very dangerous substance. Uh, we know about the fentanyl crisis, uh, and that's very deadly. So in terms of using illegal marijuana, recreational marijuana, if you will, we caution people to, to uh, make sure that they have the information and the knowledge to make informed decisions. And some people will choose to continue uh, to do everything that they've been doing before, but uh, at least they have the information and they understand the consequences uh, that could lead to fines and jail time if you are caught using marijuana. Uh, again, marijuana is illegal federally uh, it's a Schedule One drug up there with heroin, and the federal government can 
uh, impose fines and fees. And you may run into uh, local police officers who may also, um, there may also be consequences for possession of marijuana. Michelle, thank you so much uh, for being with us and sharing this very important information. Thank you so much for having me. And we now have a better understanding of medical marijuana. And if you would like more information, please visit mmeri.famu.edu. Legal Connections continues after this. Stay with us.